Today was the day that we had to go home. So day three started with us getting up pretty early, or at least I was up as soon as the sun decided to wake up. The reason being was because we wanted to see some final things at CERN before we caught our flight home at 3.05. The first thing we visited was the microcosm which explored what things are made of. There was a plasma globe, a strong force demonstrations, and an old school television using an electron gun. What? Electron gun. And there was also a stack of CDs representing the data from just one, one LHC experiment. Altogether, the LHC produces 10 petabytes, and that's a petabyte, that number there, of data per year. So that's 15 million CDs, or this, but 15 kilometers high. After this, we visited the globe of science and innovation, which was far more technological than its wooden exterior would have you believe. It even included a brilliant animation of the LHC at work, which I will just leave to play for you now. <laughs> And if you touched it, you could make your own black holes, or at least that's what we did. So many black holes stop the chaos. Amongst all the exhibits, there was also the very first server for the World Wide Web. And the lovely physicist who works at the globe had us all gathered round him as he told us about the Higgs particle and the recent neutrino mishap. Now, to which beam yeah. uh, it corresponds when, when it was emitted though. If you are interested, he does not think that they will find the Higgs particle and he also thinks that there is a possibility that neutrinos can actually travel faster than the speed of light. Regarding the Higgs particle, he also said that even if they don't find it, it's still a gigantic leap in science because it means that you have to rethink absolutely everything all over again. All we had left to do after this was to wait for our flight, so some of us made more human pyramids and some of us played rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. We then arrived at Geneva Airport once more where they had a gigantic Easter egg. Unfortunately it wasn't actually for sale, but that Easter rabbit next to it was around £150. And then our flight was boarding, and then we boarded, and then our feet left Swiss soil. As we flew into the air, my PPE brain started thinking about what this country actually represents. Humanity coming together to figure out one of our greatest mysteries, where it all began, a question that unites us. The dots under the plane's belly were civilizations, proof of human intelligence, and the LHC was further proof of what we can actually achieve if we come together. Amazing feats of engineering doing spectacular things that just sound like science fiction, but then it hits you that this is actually all real. So there you have it, my trip to CERN. Thank you to the Physics Society for arranging the trip and for letting me pretend that I do physics for three days. I've added even more links in the info if you want to know even more about the work at CERN. Until next time, goodbye. Bye. Rock, paper, lizard, spizzles, spizzles. Rock, paper. Rock, pit, rock. Yeah, flaming galah.